Welcome to the LinkedIn training, a part of Cliff Jumpers Academy. This is the grand social media training for all business. I'm Tom McKeown with yourtruechange.com. Let's get down to business. I'd like to first off by talking about what is the main difference between Facebook and LinkedIn for business prospecting. Facebook is primarily consistent, used by people for exclusively social purposes, limited business purposes, and you really have very little uh, way to know exactly how people are using a, a Facebook. Um, or I'm sorry, uh, what they do for a living, what their what their their uh, what their professional credentials are, and who they're connected to. Therefore, attempting to pitch prospects on Facebook is in many ways a crapshoot unless you really get to know them. Um, LinkedIn, on the other hand, is exclusively for business networking and professionals. Therefore, you're able to see who they are, what their professional accomplishments are, as well as who they're connected to, showing you exactly how strong they are or are not of a, pro of, of a prospect for what you have to offer. What does this mean? It means that, that on LinkedIn, it's much easier to prospect for business, provided that it's done the right way, and therefore it should be used more heavily to prospect for business than should Facebook. Now, saying that, that does not mean necessarily that Facebook uh, should be ignored uh, or that Facebook should not even be prioritized. Facebook and Facebook pages should be at the center of your social media uh, and network marketing business or really any type of business because that is where the party is. LinkedIn is not where the party is. It's kind of like it's a club and LinkedIn's the VIP back of the room with you know 15 people, 20 people, and Facebook is the club with 400 people. You need to be in the club to get to the VIP. Okay, so essentially, let's talk uh, first um, about exactly uh, what the three most important parts of LinkedIn are. Number one is going to be your profile. Number two is going to be your connections, your network. And number three is going to be groups. Are there many more features to LinkedIn and many more ways to use it? outside of these three absolutely but we're not going to get into that today because 90 percent of everything that you do or 95 percent is going to be based on these three components so number one again is your personal profile number two is your uh, net is your network so your contacts and number three groups okay so let's focus on your personal profile you want your profile to be uh, robust you want it to be fully complete you want it to be transparent remember transparency is the new currency so what you want to do is you want to write down exactly what it is that you do exactly uh, uh, what your jobs were so take your past resume um, and you want to fill out as much as possible add you know presentations things that you've done in the past um, whether they be PowerPoint presentations, you know, modeling, let's say, you know, research papers, things that you've done at school, things that you've done for work, all this is absolutely extremely important and quintessential. You write your resume here. I've got a lot of recommendations that'll take you some time to do, but this is what 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 I mean when I say transparency is the new currency. When people come on my LinkedIn profile and they see that I have recommendations from my previous jobs, they basically uh, are able to see, okay, some other very serious people are able to, uh, to uh, vouch for me. And that's really, 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 really important, right? Um, so that's that. And try to just fill out your profile as much as possible because then when you approach people on LinkedIn, they're going to know that you're a serious individual. Okay, number two is going to be your network. You want to get as many contacts as possible. It is the more contacts, the more ways you have to prospect people. Okay, now my computer is a bit slow here, but uh, you want to get, um, okay, there was a problem there, no big deal. So let's go over here to advanced search. 
okay? And let's say, for example, you're somebody who is in the U.S. military, particularly in the Marines, and you say, okay, you know what? I uh, want a prospect of the people in the Marines because I think that this opportunity is really good for them. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, okay, in the U.S., location in or near, uh, let's say, um, let's, uh, okay, you know what? Let's search this by... Um, by industry, okay. Let's go down here to military, okay. And let's say you want to search every single person um, who's in the military on LinkedIn. It's going to give you a lot of a uh, lot of results. So you say, okay, you know what? That's a lot. But you can connect with all of these people if you want, and because you're in the military, there's a good chance that they're, that they're going to connect with you as well. Now, let's say you want to take it down and you say, okay, you know what? I happen to be based uh, in Norfolk, Virginia, right? And, oh, so it's going to narrow it down to Norfolk, Virginia. Everybody in Norfolk, Virginia in the military. And you can connect with all these people. Suppose you say, okay, well, I, um, I'm in the Marines, so... Uh, so, or let's say, for example, you say, oh, I'm in the Army. Everybody in the Army in Norfolk, Virginia comes up right here. Okay? So, and you can filter it down any which way. And you can try to connect with these people um, by location, by industry. You can go by company. You can do all different types of results and connect with these like-minded people. Now, why is this important? Well, once you become a connection, you can send to them a direct message. Now up here you can see in the inbox I, I'm, I'm able to go and send direct messages to my connections just the exact same way that you would send an email. But it goes to other people on LinkedIn and of course when they say hey who the heck is this Tom McKeown guy or who the heck is this you know Dodd Schmott guy well you know what uh, they can see your profile and it comes right back at you. So it's really 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 um, important obviously to uh, just make sure that you have your profile filled out and that you're able to go right after your connections and write to them. Now, I'm going to talk about the third component, which is going to be the groups. This is by far the most important part from what we do. So having the profile and the connection set up are really important because as you add the connections, you add to your list, you add to your profile, you're making yourself more transparent. But the groups is really the most critical part of the long-term strategy. I'll show you exactly how. Uh, now, over time, I've joined a lot of groups, so clearly, you know, for me, um, you know, you're, you're not going to get to 51 groups of, uh, overnight. But what I do for Vysalis and for other businesses that I'm um, involved in is I will go, for example, down, let's say, to a group I joined called Athlete Network. I go on Athlete Network. I then suddenly say, okay, because Vysalis is based on health and fitness, um, Many people within Athlete Network are clearly going to be interested in different opportunities within health and fitness, so therefore they might be a good prospect for Vysalis. So I want to hover my mouse over somebody, and I see exactly where they're located and what they are, and I see that this person is an attorney, and I say, okay, you know what? To get an attorney, I'd probably have to meet with the person in person, and I'm not in Florida. It's probably not a good person to go after. But then, let's say I keep going down and I see, okay, who's this guy right here? And I cover my mouse over him, uh, or I can just click on his name if for some reason that's not working. And I see that this person, uh, okay, that person, for some reason that one was not working. Uh, there's no, there's no, uh, nothing being shown there. Uh, but let's go check out, okay, how about this gentleman right here, Robert Taylor. Founder and owner of Smarter Team Training. He's in Baltimore, and right here you you, you can see that he's that he's uh, he's you know pretty active um, here in the group. So this is a person that looks like he owns a sports academy um, within the Baltimore area. So here's a person that I can go right down here and put send message, and I could write to him an exact message, trying to trying to tell him exactly what it is I do and why I think he might be interested and to see if he's open for a call. Now let's see exactly how that worked. Well, here's messages. The past couple of days, I sent out about 15 messages in this Sports Academy group. 
Um, and I've already gotten seven replies with four people agreeing to a phone call. So for example, this gentleman right here, Jimmy Kibble, I wrote to him this message below. Hi Jimmy, um, I see from the sports networking group that you have a, uh, that you have a sports networking group of your own because he's you know president of his own sports networking group. Uh, I am currently looking to extend my network of distributors primarily among young, <laughs> primarily among sports academies and practitioners. I am writing to see if you are open to discussing the possibility of carrying a new line of products from the number one selling meal replacement brand in North America. Of course, that's Vaisalis. We are cur we currently have. Celebrity spokespeople such as Hulk Hogan and Alfonso Ribeiro. Our current distributors nationwide consist of sports academies, investment firms, and various other businesses uh, which have been using our products as a strong supplemental revenue base to their existing operations. Do you have time for a call next week? I'd like to get to know more about your business to see if we are fit. Keep in mind I said next week because it was Saturday. So I was talking about this coming week. Now if you see here, my message is short and short, sweet to the point, where I say, oh, "Look, here's how I found you. I see what you're looking to do. Um, here's what I'm looking to do. Okay, and here's the value I bring. Right, the number one uh, selling meal replacement brand in North America. Here's talking about the opportunity a little bit. Okay, um, I talk about the fact that we do have other companies and other businesses, and I get to the types of businesses that currently uh, do work with us. Uh, that, that that way it shows the appeal to him, okay, here's a reason why I, I might want to get involved or at minimum learn more about this opportunity. And then, of course, a call to action. Do you have time for a call next week? Okay, and what did he write back? Thomas, thanks so much for your message. I'd be happy to chat this week when time permits. Email me, okay, uh, to what your schedule looks like, and we can go from there, okay? Let's see this gentleman right here, uh, David Hayden, who I also wrote to, and that was using that same message, as you can see, I changed it a little bit. Hello, David, hello, I see from the Sports Academy Networking Group that you are a, te that, that you are a tennis academy in the Pittsburgh area. I currently um, am looking to extend my current network of distributors and do not have a location there. I am writing to see if you are open to discussing the possibility of carrying a line of products. Okay, so I, so I, so I do almost the same thing uh, in this message. I change it around a little bit to tailor to him. He says, look, my number is this. Okay, so this is how easy it is. This is how you get calls. And then you get on the phone and you do your thing. And of course, for those of you starting out, you'll try to set up a three-way call. Um, you'll, you'll, of course, make the introduction, send them the video, ask them what they like best, set up the three-way the three call. This is exactly how you use LinkedIn. It really is not that difficult. See how bread and butter vanilla it is. Once you're in the groups, you simply go and you scour for these conversations in different groups. I'm going to go back here to Athlete Alliance. And it's always good to just go and target these people. Now, one thing I would not do, I just want to let you guys know this, is I would not try to prospect people on the forums. You do not want to put yourself out in public. It looks kind of shady. Uh, it's very impersonal. And not only that, but uh, you don't want to leave yourself open to judgment uh, by everybody, you simply want to do one on one because it's just more uh, more professional, more business like, and it gives people it makes people feel more more exclusive. Make sure you not only look at the people posting, but you also go uh, into the comments, right? And then you see these people. Okay, who is this person? Simon Chabon. I go over. I see this person is in Kenya. Of course, I'm not going to be selling to somebody in Kenya. Uh, but you would look at the com at at the comments, find out more information about these people, and you can go and see more information about who they are and what they do. Okay, so this is it. I mean, this is exactly how you use, you use LinkedIn for prospecting. I recommend 10 to 15 outbounds on LinkedIn a day. As you can see, guys, it's not that hard. You just simply take your message, you craft it, you copy and paste, you change it a little bit per each approach, you try to get people on the phone, and that is that. So. Uh, you know, any questions that you guys have, you can absolutely just let me know at any point in time. For the time being, that's LinkedIn for the business. Tom McKeown at yourtruechange.com.